And this is the top defensive team in the Southland Conference that the Colonels are going up against. Jeremiah Jefferson, a free throw line pass to the right corner. Moore sends it to Peppers. His straightaway three is in, and Gavin Peppers has hit eight of his last nine threes. Babbick heads baseline, sends his pass to the left wing. Now touch pass left corner. Tony's three is off the side of the backboard, rebounded by Peppers, and the Colonels will push. They've got Jefferson. Stop and pop three. He hits it from the left side of the floor. We're tied at six, and Peppers has the assist. Johnson reverses to Garrick for a right corner three. Splash. Danny Garrick, he connects from the corner, 17-10, to 10, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Kyle Brown is guarding Kevin Johnson. And Kevin locates Lyons, high point, back door to the left block. No room for Garrick. He'll pass back to Lyons, who shoots a three and hits his second of his season. Raji Lyons, second of his career, 19-13. to 13. Islanders are up six. One dribble to the left for Kevin Johnson. Now to Jefferson. Right wing jump stop to the right elbow. He pulls up and drills a 15-footer. High point catch for Regis. Quick whip to the right corner, and Peppers has an answer. He connects his second three of the night. He's two for three. This one from the right corner makes it 27-18. to 18. Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Hooks the pass back to the right wing where Garrick will shoot a three over Hunt and make his second straight. Danny Garrick, two threes in the first half, 27 to 21, Corpus Christi, but the Colonels don't get back. South, a 50 foot lead pass, and Rashad Hunt has a layup to make it 29 to 21, Corpus. Kevin Johnson requiring the assistance of Daniel Regis. He'll come out to set a screen at the point. Corpus gets by it easily. Ball goes into the left corner where Jeremiah Jefferson clears out, steps back and connects with the shot clock expiring, and it's a three. His second of the game, 31-24. to Nichols is within seven. Schmidt rushes his jump hook. He misses badly, and Danny Garrick rebounds for Nichols. Final five minutes in half number one. Nichols is within seven. Kevin Johnson, right wing to the left corner where Garrick will shoot a three and hit his third of the half. First-year head coach Austin Klontz setting the scene for the Colonel offense. Danny Garrick behind his back at midcourt, and he'll locate a guard. He gets it over to Jeremiah Jefferson. Jefferson's doubled in the wing. He passes to the right corner. Long skip from Johnson to Harvey in the left corner. He's doubled. It's reversed to Johnson. He'll pump, drive baseline, and miss the layup. Lions offensive rebound and a powerful putback. Raji Lions makes it 31-29, to Corpus Christi. Colonels have trimmed nine points off an 11-point deficit. Peppers and Moore on the bench with two fouls, but these reserves... They've actually gotten the Colonels back in the game. And Jefferson, he'll, he'll shoot a right wing three. He leaves it off the back rim. Harvey goes after the loose ball, saves it to Buford in the key. He passes back to Jefferson, and Nichols has a new shot clock. But Buford wants a three, and he'll get one. Jefferson on the assist. Buford from the right wing gives Nichols nine first half threes. It's 36 to 34, Corpus Christi. Lions, he'll pass back to Garrick, who hits one from 30 feet. Bombs away, Danny Garrick, straight away for his fourth three of the game, 38-37, to Corpus. Jefferson, a bounce pass left short corner to Moore. He faces on Clark, goes baseline, and somehow reverses it home. Big-time move by Brandon Moore. One possession game, 47-44, to Corpus Christi. Brandon Moore, 14 points and nine rebounds per game in conference play, and he steals it at midcourt. He takes off for another layup. He's fouled. Colonel's trying to make this a one-possession deficit. Pepper spots for a straightaway three and hits his second of the game. Trey Gray, the third, has been playing his best basketball over the last seven games. Scoreless for Corpus Christi tonight. He'll dribble it into the left corner, leave his feet, miss the bank shot, and a one-handed rebound by Brandon Moore. Colonel power forward. He's into the front court. Johnson to Peppers in the left wing. He'll step back, shoot the three, and swish his third of the game. He's made two in a row. Nichols is up seven. Two points on the possession for Hunt. Colonels have the ball back, leading 58-54. to Here comes Harvey at midcourt. He finds Garrick left wing. He goes underneath to Regis, who's fouled, and he finishes it. There's your and-one dunk for Daniel Regis. Gavin Peppers, left wing to the right block where he finds Regis who skies and flushes it home. Hunt faces, shoots, and misses the jumper. One-handed rebound for Elvis Harvey. Colonels have the ball, and they lead it by seven. 
Austin Klotz telling Elvis Harvey to set a screen. Peppers doesn't need it. He rolls to the rim and banks home a high floater. What a finish by Gavin Peppers. 65-56, to Nichols. Now it's reversed to Babbick. Left corner. Steps back with three seconds on the clock. Misses the baseline jumper, but Hunt has an offensive rebound, and he powers up for the layup. 70 to 67. Islanders are up three. 72 to 69. Islanders, 230 to play. Johnson, high pick, sets up Peppers. His right corner three, right down the hatch. We're tied at 72. Game on the line, and Elvis Harvey will inbound it to Gavin Peppers. He's across midcourt at 10 seconds. Aggressive to his left. He pulls back at five. Peppers, a rim run to the left. He's under the hoop at three seconds, and he steps out of bounds with two seconds to go. Turnover Nichols with the Islanders up by one, and they will inbound the ball with two seconds left in the game. And here comes the pass. It's a baseball heave to midcourt. It's too tall for Elvis Harvey. Tipped high, and that's how it ends.